check this out, folks. What you're looking at is the first image of a black hole. Now, this actually measures 40 billion kilometers across, which is 3 million times the size of the Earth. And it's been described by scientists as a monster. And it's coming to us from the Event Horizon Telescope. And this is the biggest breaking news on the internet right now. How you all doing out there, folks? I'm Kev Baker. I hope you're uh, enjoying your day. Came home, you know, found this breaking news story coming out right now. Super cool. Uh, I speak to an astrophysicist called Brandon Drackler. He's working on simulation software to build a simulation to show the effects of what will happen if two black holes merge. And now we're getting to see black holes for the first time. Now, I know there was a Matthew McConaughey film out there that gave a really cool kind of depiction of a black hole. It's that kind of spinning kind of color with an orbit spinning color as well. But here, ladies and gentlemen, is literally what the black hole looks like. Like I say, this is news coming to us from the Event Horizon Telescope. Back in 1915, Einstein, he, um, if I get this, it is there, yeah. Einstein was the one who first, you know, with his theory of general relativity, first kind of postulated, theorized of something out there, you know, something that was later to be known as a black hole. It says using Newton's laws in the late 1790, John Mitchell of England and Pierre Simon Laplace of France independently suggested the existence of an invisible star. And Mitchell and Laplace calculated the mass and size, which is now called the event horizon. And in the center of that, that that's the event horizon. And we'll go back to this here that an object needs in order to have an escape velocity greater than the speed of light. Now, in 1915, Einstein's theory of general relativity predicted the existence of black holes, and it was in 1967. John Wheeler, an American theoretical physicist, applied the term black hole to these collapsed objects. Now, we had Stephen Hawking, the late Dr. Stephen Hawking, who had put out there the thing about Hawking radiation. And it's unfortunate that Dr. Hawking didn't live to see this day because this would have been massive, absolutely massive news to him. And if we come to this story here, and I'll just move my camera out of the way so you can read this. I'm just going to read a couple of paragraphs here. We're going to take a quick look at some of the, the breaking news over on the Twitter at But this is huge news, folks. And I get it. I get it. People are rightly going to question if this is fake, whether it's real, what we're actually looking at. Is it an image? Is it a composite? Is it CGI? Is it some kind of rendered image from, from vast amounts of ones and zeros coming in? Well, you know, we're going to have to take it at face value. They have been um, searching or they have been talking about us getting an image of a black hole in recent times. There was talk of us getting an image of the black hole, the supermassive black hole at the center of our own galaxy. And of course, bear in mind, I think it's 90% of the galaxies out there have one of these black holes at their center. Now we're actually getting to see it. Now, I know people who listen to me will think, well, Kev, usually you kind of tut tut and poo poo at black holes and gravity. And it's not so much that I don't believe in gravity, I just don't think we fully understand the process that we give that terminology, that term gravity to. And of course, I pay a lot of attention to the electrical universe and the electrical effects that you can recreate in a lab using plasma, highly charged particles into a plasma, which will recreate some of the observable effects that you see out in our galaxy and beyond. That's for another time, and if for anyone that's into the electrical universe, please check out the Thunderbolts Project over on YouTube, thunderboltsproject.info as well. Lots of interesting stuff on there, because you see, the laws of physics break down once you get to this central disk here, this event horizon, because all matter 
you know, it's condensed down to a point where it's said to occupy no space. And that just doesn't seem like it makes sense. And then even after that, it accelerates to a point where it causes a gravitational force where nothing can escape. So there's a lot of kind of uh, breaking down of the rules of physics for black holes as we understand them to be the way they are. That's why maybe there's just a little bit more going on there that we don't understand yet. But it says here the first direct visual evidence of a black hole and its shadow have been revealed today by astronomers working on the Event Horizon Telescope. The image is of the supermassive black hole that lies at the centre of the huge Messier 87 galaxy in the Virgo Galaxy Cluster. Located 55 million light years from Earth, the black hole has been determined to have a mass 6.5 times or 6.5 billion times that of the sun with an uncertainty of 0.7 billion solar masses. Now although black holes are inherently visible because of their extreme density and gravitational field, the researchers have managed to obtain images near the point where matter and energy can no longer escape the so-called event horizon. How cool. This is interesting here, folks. I want you to pay really particular attention to this terminology that this scientist used. We are giving humanity its first view of a black hole. A one-way door out of our universe. What does that even mean? A one-way door out of our universe. What happens beyond that event horizon? You know, they call that the singularity, and you have to speculate here, but is there a an entrance and a, an exit? Does this lead to another distant point in the universe? Does it stretch across the multiverse? Who only knows, folks? Who only knows? But, yeah, just to read on here, that was coming from Shepard Dolman of the Haystack Observatory at the MIT who is the EHT's lead astronomer. This is a landmark in astronomy, an unprecedented scientific feat accomplished by a team of more than 200 researchers, presumed to be impossible just a generation ago. Adding that breakthroughs in technology and the completion of new radio telescopes over the past decade have allowed researchers to now see the unseeable. The results announced today at multiple press conferences around the world have been published in six papers in a special issue of Astrophysical Journal Letters, which is published by the Institute of Physics on behalf of the American Astronomical Society. And look at that, folks. I managed to do all that without one mention of NASA. Now, I know NASA probably have something to do with some of the telescopes involved in this, and, and people, again, will rightly question whether any of this is real at all, or whether it's all hocus-pocus. For me, I go down the road of it being real. However, it's just my opinion. And sure, it could well be some kind of image rendered and generated from, from ra raw data. I, I get that. I'm sure if we were to travel up to this black hole some 50-plus light years away, would it look exactly like this? Uh, probably not. However, it is what we've got to go on. And if we come over to Twitter, just before I let you get back about your day, it's the BBC. Could be a hot bagel. Of course, there's going to be a lot of funny stuff over here, but please check it out for yourself, folks. You know, um, hang on. Need to get to the actual... There it is there. The black hole. Yeah, how cool is that, folks? There it is there. And there is actually a gif floating about where you see the actual light being emitted from both ends of this as well the electromagnetic effects and yeah it's really really cool really cool so what do you think's on the other side of a black hole folks and of course I, i'm sitting looking at this i'm not even showing you it on the screen there you go there it is there i'll move my camera again i was i was getting that excited there you see here we go, camera, yeah, there we go, boom. So yeah, this one's from Wired. Like I say, there, there's a gif that's floating about, I seen earlier on where it shows you the effects coming out either end. 
keep scrolling down. This is going to be the picture you see absolutely everywhere now. Everywhere. Let's say, um, so far, the new image is consistent with general relativity. The hope is that eventually, when we can observe the event horizon with higher resolution, it will help us figure out how quantum and relativity match together because it is such an extreme area. That would be really cool to see what comes on the back of this. Absolutely. And then, yeah, see, look, this is cool. Congratulations to the International Network of Radio Telescopes called the Event Horizon Telescope that worked together to achieve this incredible feat decades ahead of what we thought was possible. So, yeah, you're talking about telescopes around the world, you know, all imaging this, all taking in data. Messier 87. Pretty cool. Coolest thing you literally thought you'd never be able to see. First image of a black hole. Einstein didn't believe they existed, even though his own prediction, even though his own equations predicted their existence. Now we have visual proof. Science is amazing. Absolutely. That's even cooler. Wow. Today is the day. Ugh, no, that, that, that's absolutely stunning. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but when it comes to space and things, it's just... Wow. You're just left in awe. You truly, truly are. If I could be here all day, oh, there's NASA. Let's have a look at what NASA's got to say, right? Never a straight answer. Never a black hole. From, I'm only joking. History has been made. A global network of telescopes has been working to capture the first ever image of a black hole. Follow along uh, at NSF. Shares the groundbreaking results. Yep. Cheers. <laughs> you made it. Uh, I like that. So yeah, like I say, wow, cool. That's showing you what black holes are. Yeah, folks. There we go. Early images of the black hole. That would be gone by now if that was here. Damn, that looks good. Fermi lab getting in it. Yeah. Right, folks. I'll let you get back to your day. Taking up far too much of your time already. Remember to tune in to the Kev Baker Show, 2 p.m. on the East Coast. 2 p.m. on the West Coast, even. Duh. 5 p.m. on the East Coast. And 10 p.m. in the UK. And... I might be on tonight, I'm not too sure. I had a couple of tests today at the hospital, so... But less about that. And I'll definitely be on tomorrow on tfrlive.com, so please check it out later, y'all. <laughs>